right, welcome back. Time uh, for America First tonight. The Biden administration hiding what's happening at the border from the American people. Here is the president on transparency. Will you commit to transparency on this issue? I will commit to transparency. And as soon as I am in a position to be able to implement what we're doing right now, and one of the reasons I haven't gone down, I have all my, my chief folks have gone down, is I don't want to become the issue. You'll have full access to everything once we get this thing moving. Okay, and just to be clear, how soon will that be, Mr. President? I don't know. Basically, I've created a disaster. I don't want you to see it until I've had a chance to fix everything, and then you can come in and tell me how great it all is. It's amazing. And they just let him get away with this. Joining us now to discuss this is Tom Fitton, president of Judici Judicial Watch, one of America's leading government watchdogs. Tom, good to see you. Hey, good to be with you again. Thanks for having me. So, I mean, what do you make of this? He's claiming he's transparent. He said he was going to be transparent. He's not at all. And then this on top of everything else. Uh, your organization is involved in trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. Yeah, I know we have at least a dozen Freedom of Information Act requests yeah. on the, just the current crisis as it is all of which I think have been stonewalled. And there are hundreds of press requests for access to these facilities, all of which have been denied using COVID as the excuse. Uh, the nice thing about uh, President Biden's challenges uh, in articulating his views is it often leads to him telling the truth inadvertently. And he just told the American people, you can't see the mess until we clean it up and then you can come in. So it's an admission that the reason we're not getting access in my view, is because uh, he doesn't want us to see or the administration doesn't want us to see uh, the truth about what's going on there. I mean, the pictures that have come out have been uh, pretty extraordinary, and um, the, the crisis is entirely preventable. Uh, and now we're being told we just have to rely on public statements by the president and others. We can't get underlying documents. We can't get firsthand accounts. And on top of that, there's been pressure on the bureaucracy and the, the line agents and not to talk about it. Hmm. And uh, so uh, this is a gr the great suppression right. of uh, this great crisis, the Biden border crisis. Yeah. Uh, your organization, Judicial Watch, uh, filing a taxpayer lawsuit against the San Francisco Sheriff's sanctuary policy uh, after uncovering more than 2,400 criminal illegal aliens were being released there. Tell us about this one. What'd you find? Well, you know, San Francisco has this, uh, what our expert calls an outlier sanctuary policy that is probably one of the most aggressive in the nation in terms of coddling uh, criminal legal aliens. Uh, what they're doing is the sheriff's department, it looks like, is releasing uh, criminal illegal aliens without telling ICE. At least 2,400, and this is in the course of the litigation thus far, we've uncovered over 2,400 uh, dangerous yep. criminal aliens being released. And uh, the San, San Francisco, obviously, has been fighting us tooth and nail in court. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a trial set uh, not too soon. And, uh, you know, it just shows you just how crazy things are here in the United States, that it's a, so a nonprofit wow. group trying to protect a taxpayer in California that's combating a sanctuary policy that's putting the public safety at risk, not only in San Francisco, but all over the country. It is. I mean, we are, we are living in a very bizarre time. It's good to have somebody like you fighting for some kind of common sense in this country. Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch, thanks for taking the time. You're welcome.